Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Can It Be Done in Figma series. Now in this video, we are going to make this simple slider of Apple Watch Series 9 website where we can click on these buttons and we can customize the Apple Watch here by changing different straps. Now we can change the case and size also, but in this video we are going to make this simple animation where we can click on these buttons and the straps get, get changed. And we can notice that depending on the strap, the case background also gets changed. And we can also click on the straps and we can check, check out the layout here. And this navigation is also animated like we can click on uh, this also is interactive we can click on the different categories and check the watch layout so yeah to do this kind of uh, animation first we need to download uh, the assets so what I have done I have downloaded some images uh, of straps and placed it in this way so what we need to do, we need to download the images first and then we need to place them side by side and select all of them and make an auto layout from there, right? So that we can have one single frame and I can name it as straps. Oops, straps, right, again mistake. Straps nice and another thing is I have also downloaded the case images now I have placed these cases below the corresponding straps so that I can understand which case is going with which strap right so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the last case and make a frame from here and I'm gonna rename it as case and then I'm going to take each case and paste inside the frame right just like this so I took this one yeah I'm gonna take this one here copy this one paste here this one paste here this one paste here and also this one right now I'm going to go inside of this frame and then I'm going to hide every cases here and just I'll just keep the case one right then our preparation is done now what we need to do we need to make this layout here so I'm not gonna waste the time by making the layout in front of you I have done it already so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just duplicate the page and delete this image from this images from here and probably I'll also need to remove the animation like this one remove this one and also here we have some animation This one remove this one also no, remove this one also all right and now we need a back button here also so I'm gonna take this paste here remove the animation nice so here we have a layout which is a simple layout it has as you can see top navigation some details of the watch and a bottom navigation where we should be able to click now at this moment what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring the images here right and place them inside but it is already so big so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go inside and make them maybe 400 and yep and yeah I'll change the width also here so that I can fit at least five straps in one view right so yep we are done now I'm gonna place it inside just like this and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the strap 
uh, not the strap sorry the case the case frame that we created now this one is also big we need to resize it so I'm gonna make it um, 300 just like the strap and 400 and I'll go inside and make every images as 300 then I'll unlink it to make change the height right and then I want this frame inside this and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna place it at the center of the page and then I'll make it uh, lock the frame so that I don't hamper the position then I'm gonna just drag the strap the first one maybe yeah just like this so yeah the next thing is we need to duplicate it several times like based on the number of straps we have so maybe I'm gonna duplicate it for five times yeah and then show you how it's done how the animation is going to be done all right so the next thing is when we click on um, yeah I need to push it down so when we click on this button we need to go to the next page where the strap will move to this direction right oh I can't see the button here because every strap is um, on top of the button so I'm gonna select everything and push it down right we have it nice so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna come here and change the position holding down shift and drag it like here nice on the third one I need to go to the third one matches no Should be like this nice and also the fourth one just like this and the fifth one right so let us do this five screens only all right so now what I'm going to do here I'm going to select this button and give an animation here so what I want to do I want to go from this position to this position and I want a smart a smart animate here uh, linear maybe and 300 milliseconds is fine then I'm gonna do the same from this screen to this screen from when we click on this button we want to go to this screen when I click on this button I want to go to here also now here if I click this I wanna go back here if I click this I wanna go back and here if I click this I wanna go back also same for this nice and we know we don't need this button when we are at this point right at the first strap right now if we check this let me run it and make it free the screen so if I click on this you see it's working nice so we can come back here now what we need to do we need to do the same for this each strap so for the strap what I'm gonna do uh, for example here as you can see there are lots of straps so the best trick to do it should be you do the animation for one screen and then copy the frame and replace the frame everywhere uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that so just select this one and select the strap from here to here I want the same animation like when you click on it smart animate linear uh, not not from here sorry from the second one yeah my bad I'm gonna just delete it when you click the second one we want to go here and then when we click the first one we want to go here that's fine but when we click the third one we want to go to the third screen right and then I'm going to just unclip the content here so that I can see when I click the fourth one 
I want to go to the fourth screen, like here. You see Figma is showing us the um, background a little bit, like in blue, just like this, so that we can identify where we are going. And from the fifth one, I want to go here. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to select this one, copy this and replace with each frame right now what it's going to do is going to preserve this animation for each strap and place it in each frame in each screen so I don't need to go to each screen and do the animation um, manually do set the animation manually right so yeah this is the way we are done almost um, I'm gonna come back and click the content and check the animation what we have done so far So this is the screen then we can go here we can go here we can click on this and it works we can click on the third one and it works also yep 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 this one is working nice very nice now what we need to do we also need to take care of this case changing effect right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you for maybe the third one so what we need to do, just assume that maybe over here, um, where is the, I need to find this frame, the frame of the case which we have locked. So here it is, nice. So what we need to do, maybe the second image is turned on here. So we just need to turn on the second image and hide the first one now if we see the animation if we go here it gets changed right if we go here it gets changed we can click on it we can click on it and it gets changed right so this is the way you change the case background which is really easy to do now another thing we need to deal with this nav bar which is pretty simple so depending on uh, the category of the strap, you just need to select the uh, screen. So maybe let's assume that when it is the this screen, this strap, this is under sport band, maybe. So if we do that, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to just select this one and do the same. Like go to pro prototype and from here, I want to go here linear animation same animation right and it's gonna do the job and we also here at this point we need to change the category layout so I'm gonna make it like I just I'm just gonna copy the style from here and paste it here and copy the style of it and make it inactive right so when we are at this screen the category is gonna change or we can click on this on the first page when you're on the first page or we can, what we can do we can copy it and do like the same like what we did with the frame this strap frame we just replace it so that we preserve the animation previously we have set up right then it is changed so I'm gonna do it again and then just like this now if I check it so we can click on it it gets changed and we can click on the sport band and we can go to the sport band as well right and you need to do the same for the others as well if you want to have the animation over each uh, navigation item right so that's it uh, maybe i can show you which i have created here so here I had this screen to be the first one maybe. Yep, yep, this one. So let me play this this screen for you. All right. So as you can see, I, I did the design. You can click on this, it gets changed. You can click on this to go to a different category. And yeah. This is it. This is basically it.
and yeah it is really simple animation but i hope uh, it might help somebody uh yep this was it happy designing